Welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at the example template to get you up to speed on how to use this quickly. And click this load example button to bring up Michael's example, which is a great set of actions uh, to get started with. You can use this as a starting point for building your own template. If you want to save this and use it on your smartphone or tablet, uh, you can just click the save button. We'll do that a little bit later. If you want to start a new layout from scratch, you can click on load toolbars. If you want to clear the editor, there's this clear button. If we don't have a toolbar loaded, we can click on load HTML and that will load a saved layout. I'll come back to that once we have something saved. Okay, so we're going to load example. We have the name here and we can change this to whatever we want. And after we press enter, it will commit. Below that is the name of the action inside Reaper. And below that, we have a different color for the text. So we can change that to black, different grayscale, and white. Next, we have the option of making this a toggle, which means that uh, when it's in the test mode or on your actual uh, saved layout, when it's pressed, it will stay pressed. And when you click it again, it will go back to normal. This is good for certain buttons, such as the toggle metronome, uh, where it's actually a toggle inside Reaper. After that, we have our background color, and you, you can choose something from the palette, or you can do a completely custom color. Next, we have icon size, and this is a global setting, large, medium, or small. There's small, there's medium, and back to large. And just experiment to see, once you save this, uh, which one looks best for your device. And then we can choose an icon for this. So right now it's set to this um, arrow, but we can type in anything, or we can just browse through this. These icons aren't designed for dog use, just kind of general purpose um, interface buttons, but you should be able to find something that works with whatever you're working on. For this one, we'll go back to the arrow we want to reorder these, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping. We can drag it to a different location, like that. We can drag this to a different tab. Just look for where the icon turns white. And that will put it down at the bottom of that. Let's bring that back. Bring it back up to the top in its original place. We can also bulk edit icons using this button here, bulk edit. So we can click this one and this one. You don't have to hold shift or anything like that. Uh, just selecting, just clicking will toggle its selection. And we can choose a different color for that. Maybe choose white and black. Or maybe choose pink, white text. Something like that. And to finish that, you click on bulk edit. Also in bulk edit mode, you can, you can remove the icon or you can remove the button. If you remove the button, it will warn you that you're about to remove it permanently from this layout. Exit bulk edit mode and it's gone. If you want to add or remove a row, it goes by whichever uh, icon was last selected. So if I have this one selected and I click plus row, it's going to put one below, right there. And if I have this one selected and I press plus row, it's going to put one below here. We can delete a row with this. And if there's icons in here, it will remove them with a warning. And there's also this button, minus row, empty only. That will automatically remove any empty rows, snapping everything up to the top. We can leave in an empty row just as a divider in your layout. So we go to test mode, there's a divider here. The default layout has three tabs, main, envelopes, and automation. And in test mode, it's exactly the same. And uh, on a touchscreen device, you would just tap on the tab and you get a, another set of actions. 
New tabs always go to the right, so press plus tab. We'll go there. If we want to change the order, we can drag and drop. We can remove the last selected tab, and if we have buttons in here, let's say we drag right mode to this new tab, and we do minus tab keep buttons, that will put that button into the previous tab. All right, so I've made a lot of changes to this. I'm just going to clear this to reset it back to uh, the example. So clear, this brings us back to the main page and we can load example again. Now this time, we'll save it. Like any download from a web browser, you're going to save this file and it, you may default to the downloads folder, but we're going to put it into the Reaper folder and uh, this is a web layout, so it's going to the Reaper www root folder. Now this is called my web remote. We'll just keep it at that.